Hi and welcome to this video. Okay, so I was sat here UV my uh, objects here nice and peacefully and I started doing this straightening out my UVs and I wondered if there's anybody out there who who would like to learn how to do that because it can be a like pain in the rear sometimes trying to straighten all this up. There's a very quick and easy way of doing that. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. It's quite quite straightforward actually, it's quite easy. So all you do in your UV editing window here, first of all, find go to your island that's wobbly like this. These should look like that and these are represent these rings here uh, so first of all find one of your quads on your island that's not that's clearly not straight so let's do this from here so you select we're going to work on this one quad here and let me select the quad i'm going to work on this one here go back to make sure uh, vertex mode is selected up there uh, right select two verts we're going to scale it on the Y, like so, and press zero on your keyboard to straighten it. It didn't look like it moved then, but it did. Think of those as straight. I'm going to come down here. We'll see it better work when we do the uh, when we do the X in a moment. Uh, so select these two down the bottom here. Scale Y, and you can see that do that they wobble just press zero to align them like that here we go now we're going to do the x so shift those two scale x like so you see it wobbles press zero and they align zero on the keyboard that is select two like that scale x zero Right, so that quad there is nicely aligned and all straightened up. So all we do now is go to quad select, select your quad and press L on your keyboard, not A, because you don't want to select everything, just the island that you're working on, so select L and right click, follow active quads and there we go. Now there's got something you've got to be careful of here, depending on which you can see it's supposed to be the same size as these, but it's smaller. And I think that does that because if you look at these quads here, if you get one that's slightly, it'll follow, it'll adjust all the others based on the quad that you select. So you've got to be really careful of that. So if you do a really small one, it will shrink it smaller than the original size. If you do a much bigger one, then it will scale it up to that, proportionally to that that you've selected anyway okay so that's it a very useful tip so i hope you enjoyed that found it useful just don't forget to click and subscribe i know i've been a bit quiet on this channel lately but um i'm picking it up now because one of our projects coming to an end so i've got a bit more time and um so click subscribe and you'll find lots of useful life, uh, tips like this i'm going to do some, a lot more substance painter things coming shortly so Watch out for that. I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.